Overclocking your GPU with Afterburner. Up next. Hey guys, I've got Afterburner from MSI loaded up. Um, it's a free download. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Um, this is for uh, basically overclocking your GPU. It is powered by Riva. This is version 2.3.1. Um, Riva Tuner, if you're an old school type, uh, let me hit this unlock first, um, overclocker. This is to get a little, squeeze a little extra power out of your, uh, graphic, graphics, uh, card. So, all right, uh, I'm going to state the obvious. If you overclock, it is your responsibility to know what you're doing. I'm going to show you how to use this. I do not condone you burning up your cards. I can burn up mine because I'll buy another one. Uh, all right, I'm using a GTX 560 caliber edition uh, DF, which just means dual fan. It was stock overclocked to 930 megahertz. Right here is your core clock speed, where my mouse is. Over here is your voltage, okay? Stock is... Now it says 1024 without a period in there or a point. Um, it's actually 1.025 volts on the GPU core. This is not CPU, this is GPU for the, those of you that are noobs. Um, and no offense by I mean noobs. Now the fan settings at 65. What you're gonna wanna do first of all is have this uh, unlocked, go into your settings now here you probably won't be able to read this it depends how good the recording comes out but trust me all five of these compatibility properties i have checked i've already done that um, it's enable hardware control and monitoring enable low level hardware access interface unlock voltage control unlock voltage monitoring and force constant voltage and then hit ok um, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to not want this checked by default uh, when you first start out. Because say you overclock and you restart Windows uh, because it's, it's just not working, you don't want it applied until you know your system. I, I know my my clock and what it does on my GPU so I'm I'm safe I already have profiles set up but I'll show you how to use profiles right now we're at 39 degrees over here is your meters okay uh, the GPU voltage it's like saying three two um, I probably have let's see if uh, let's see what speed I'm actually running at because I didn't apply these vol you know what I'm gonna hit apply just to make sure all right so my shader clock is at 1863 my memory clock is 2244 and my fan tachometer is at RPMs 2520 And yeah, it's saying my voltage and at three or no, that's uh, yeah, here's my voltage, it's at 1.25. Sorry about that. So, that is the basics of it on your meters. Just nice to have, you can check your stuff out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up this to 1.087. That's actually, um, the max that Afterburner allows me to up the voltage on the GPU. Now, if you're not doing an aggressive overclock, you won't need this. But the max that this GUI will let you do is 1.87 on this card. Now, it is different for different cards. The reason is that MSI Afterburner actually says that's what they feel is the safest amount for that GPU. I'm not going to get into this power limit percentage today. Um, the core clock speed, I already know, and you can you can just click on this and then use your arrow keys to uh, 
bring up the uh, overclock. Now I have overclocked this card many different ways, many different times, and I know what a safe overclock for this card is. 990 is where I get the best performance on 3D Mark 11. If I go to 995, it starts squeezing it so hard that it drops down. And at that, I actually back the memory down and get a little better performance. So I do that, back that down, and then I would turn the fan up to 70. And that's an aggressive overclock. And I'm gonna hit apply. And then you're gonna see over on my levels, the fan speed go up to 70 and the voltage went up to 1.87. Now I'm going to save the profile as number five. Okay. Once you have all your profiles saved, you hit lock and you can just go through your profiles. So this is a normal profile for me, 966. That's my everyday clock. And then say I want to go on 3D Mark 11 and just run 3D Mark 11 and prove that I'm run it, I can run it at 990 stable or say I'm playing a game and I want to get a couple more frame rates hit that profile hit apply boom number five is applied right now we're gonna apply number one which is my everyday clock like I said and then once you get to know that okay your system is stable at this you come over here and you hit apply overclocking so it's pretty simple. I'll leave a link for you guys. Um, I hope that helps out if you want to overclock your GPU. As always, you know, when you overclock, you void, void your warranty. And uh, like I said, I can do it because if I burn up my card, my thing is I'll buy another.